Hello everybody. In this short video I'm going to show you how to uh, insert the uh, up-down counter in the program, your PSC program, and how to use it. So by looking at the function blocks here, you will not see the up-down counter. You have only the up-counting counter and down-counting counter. In order to have an up-down counter, you can insert a block here directly from the general part uh, to the program. Then we need to determine which kind of function block this this block is. So you can click here on the browse and then in the standard you can find the count up down or up down counter uh, block here. You can also check the details for the up down counter. I will explain it later during the uh, when when our simulation runs. All right. So by double clicking it, we will have the up down counter inserted and then here we can just uh, choose a name for this and declare it and here you can see that the type is CTUD up down counter and here we have the name okay let's create it and as we insert it you can see that we did the up down counter has one two three four five inputs and it it can give us uh, three outputs the first input to the up down counter is the CU input which receives the signals for counting up. The second one is CD for or the count down input. Uh, and here yeah, if you can again double check the in the documentation of the block you can double check the inputs and outputs. So count up, count down, then reset resets the counter to null or zero. Load uh, loads the start value, which is the preset value as you can see here provided that PV start value or counter limit. Count up, uh, counter down up or QU is the, it will become true whenever the counter reaches the limit and counter up down or QD will become true whenever the counter reaches null. And the current value shows the current uh, counter's value. Uh, I already have created some variables to to generate signals for the counter and to uh, observe the output of the counter. So let's for CU let's assign the count up variable that I have here. So here count up for counting up. Then for counting down we will use the count down for resetting. I will use the reset and for loading I will use the load. Alright, and then for preset value I will use this integer variable which I have already declared. Uh, I can remove these question marks and in the visualization I will directly refer to uh, those variables coming from the counter. In the visualization, I already have created uh, some push buttons. One for counting up, one for counting down, resetting and loading, and also for the preset value of the of the counter. I have uh, one option here through which I can change or modify the preset value of the counter. Then here in a text box, I will show the current value uh, the current value of the counter. Uh, we may insert two pilot lamps as well in order to check the output state of the counter. I will do it right now. Uh, all right, I have to. In I have inserted two pilot lamps. The first one for QE output and the second one for the QD output. And here in the variable for the first one, we can just go into the input assistant in the PSC program, counting up down zero. And here we can detect uh, select the QU. Uh, this is CU. We, we need to select the Q U yeah, which is here. And for the other one, uh, for the pilot lamp, we can select the Q D, which is this bit here. Okay, and f for the current value of the timer, we can display it in the text field. And for the text, we can just specified like here and there's the variable in the text variables 
I can directly select the the current value. That's all. I have done all the other settings beforehand, so I don't spend time uh, right now on them here. Let's uh, save the project, log in, and run it. And then we will see how the how the con up down counter uh, works by receiving the inputs and then changing the state of the outputs. Okay, run it now. Uh, let's place it. Yeah, here. Okay. Here you can see the values. If I start to reset the by resetting the counter, the value would be equal to uh, zero in the current value, and the preset value is not set yet. So from here, I start to set the preset value, which is equal to 12, and it's uh, receiving the preset value. So the state of the outputs of the timer is of the counter is now changed. The current value is zero. The preset value is 12. So the QU is false and the QD is uh, true. By creating pulse here as the count up, the counter's current value increases by one each time. And by pressing the count down, the current value will decrease by one, as you can see here. If I press reset, the current value will become equal to zero. And if I press load, this value here, 12, will be loaded into the counter. And you can see that as soon as the current value of the timer becomes 12, which is equal to the preset value, the count, counting up output, or QU, will become true. And as soon as the, if by counting down, whenever the current value becomes 0, the QD will become true, the QD output of the, of the counter. Okay, so you can see from here that it's, how does it work in general. So with, with the count, up down counting, uh, counter in the codices, you can count the, uh, for example, some objects which are entering into the process, and you can count the number of items which are leaving the process, and in the current value, you will have the amount of the objects uh, in the process. Whenever you wish, you can reset the counter, or you can load it with a, a given preset value, which is uh, also adjustable through this uh, preset value field here. Uh, okay, so that's all for this video. I hope this will uh, help you in understanding how the up-down counter can be utilized in the CADSYS. Thank you again for watching.